In this video, I'm going to show you how to use lambda functions in Python. Lambda functions are small anonymous functions, which means that they don't have a name and they can only consist of a single expression. Here's an example. Let's say I want to have a function that takes in two arguments and multiplies them together. Using the normal syntax, we define a function, let's call it multiply, declare two parameters, x and y, and we'll return x times y. Now, since this function only consists of a single return statement, we can rewrite this using lambda functions. Here's the syntax. We always start with the keyword lambda, then we list the parameters separated by commas. So here we'll write x comma y. Then you write a colon, and whatever's to the right of this colon will be returned. So since we want to return the result of x multiplied by y, we'll write x times y, and we're done. Now, if we want to call this function elsewhere, we can name it by assigning it to a variable. Let's call it mult, and now we can call the mult function in the same way that we normally would. So for example, let's try multiplying 4 by 5 and print the result. And we can see that it correctly returns 20. So at this point, you may be thinking, what's the point of using lambda functions? Well, let me give you a slightly more complicated example that shows why this can be useful. Let's start by using the built-in map function of Python. Map takes in two arguments. The first is a function, and the second is an iterable, like a list. Map will then apply the function that was provided to each element of the iterable and return the transformed result. For example, let's say we have a list called nums, and I want to double each element of this list. We can first define a function called double that will take in a single argument, double it, and return the result. Then we call map and provide the double function as the first argument and nums as the second. So this will double each element of nums and return the new list. We then need to convert the result back into a list then we'll print the result. If we run this, we can see that the new list does in fact have every element inside of it doubled. But if this is the only time we're going to be using the double function, we don't have to bother giving it a name, and we can just write it using a lambda function instead. So I'll delete the function name, and I'll just write the function definition in line. So first we start off with the word lambda, then the parameter x. We want to double the input, so I'll return x times 2. And that's it we've written the function definition in line instead of giving it a name elsewhere. So now we can run it again, and we can see that it gives the same result. We could also modify this to, let's say, triple each element in the list by changing this to x times 3, and we can see that it still works. So the benefits of writing it this way is that, one, we saved a few lines of code, two, we didn't have to clutter the namespace by thinking of a new name for the function, and three, we didn't have to jump around the code looking for the function definition. We wrote it inline so we can immediately see what it does. Now, lambda functions are cool, but remember, you should only use them if your function consists of a single expression and is only used once. If it requires multiple lines or is reused often, you're better off just sticking to the normal way of writing functions.